Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to check in on seismicity, deconstruction of a galactic structure near the center of the Milky Way, where gold comes from, and where space weather impacts the global electric circuit in the atmosphere. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and it was largely quiet until just the last few hours. The big sunspots have been quiet, no flaring, but there is an indication of potential for that to change. Now watch just below center here and to the left, filaments lift and break at the top of the corona. Pop. Doesn't appear to be much of a CME release, more like a confined eruption, but obviously we'll keep an eye on the rest of the filaments. The sunspot situation remains with one big developed group and trailing smaller spots. The change we see this morning is the formerly split magnetic character now has mixing. Look at the blue island amidst the red negative portion. We could see flare interactions there and I'm monitoring it today. Seismic activity leaves little in terms of major news, but with the East Pacific Ridge getting active after the 7.5 to the south, and with four shocks at the coast, we've got Chile, Argentina, Peru, and Ecuador at increased alert this week. Taiwan rumbling with four shocks too, by the way. We're off to space, where first up is an interesting piece on the central galactic stripes, the vertically oriented bones of the magnetic fields causing radio emission. They say this one was fractured and bent by a pulsar right next to it. This has worked and twisted and energetically blasted the structure. Very cool science to lay those x-rays on top of these radio signals. Up next, we're seeing the math on how astronomers now think gold and heavier elements may be preferentially created by magnetar flares. Remember, this is the weird one. How do you have an eruptive event bolt downwards and crack the surface of a star? Can L-shell fields on planets do this too? Would that explain megascars found on Earth and Mars? Heck, if you peer below Venus clouds, it looks scarred all over. Lastly, folks, space weather and the global atmospheric electric circuit. This contribution is just a poster presentation, but those are often easier to digest. Most of space weather involves the arrival of electromagnetic energy at Earth from the sun, and here's a window into how that impacts the global electric circuit, the vertical currents flowing through every pressure cell up and down, impacting clouds, temperatures, precipitation, wind, and lightning. Folks, we've got a lot going on at Observer Ranch rest of the season. Definitely time to come out and catch your other family reunion. It was so great seeing everyone these last two weekends. Let's keep that going. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.